Welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time, Paranormal Esquire Deluxe Pedal Show. My name is Gabor. Yeah, good, more words. Hey, welcome along. I'm Alex. We've got to check out the Squire today from the Paranormal series. Please hit like and subscribe on the channel. Massive thumbs up, comments, like, subscribe, all that. We don't want the small thumbs up. We want the massive <laughs> yes. ones, please, yes. Like the guy from The Simpsons has like. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. And I just want to mention right from the start, this was sent to us by Squire, Fender Squire Australia. So this is what you would call a sponsored video. Uh, so, the Esquire Deluxe uh, from the 2023 Paranormal Series. Hit me some facts. It's a telly shape with one humbucker. <laughs> Thanks for watching. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, uh, you want some specs? Yeah. Uh, so, basically, we have... Uh, it comes in two colours. This colour is called Mocha. It also comes in a, a metallic black, which actually looks really cool as well. Mm. Little fun fact, it is actually internally routed... Or, uh, so you could put another pickup in it. It kind of defeats the purpose of it, being an Esquire Deluxe with the one pickup. But if sure. you wanted to, you could put another pickup in it. Um, we have a Fender Design Wide Range Humbucker. Uh, oh, so now one of the cool things is you have a three-way rotary switch on it, uh, which has these cool little, like there's little holes in the pickguard yeah. that shows you where, and it's the same actually on the volume and tone control. We'll do close-up photos of all that stuff. Uh, you have a three-way rotary switch in the all the way down position, so fully clockwise. It's the humbucker, full humbucker, mm -hmm. and you're bypassing mm -hmm. the volume and tone uh, control. So it's just straight to the humbucker. That's awesome, mate. For even more kazungas. In the middle position, the, you slightly lessen the kazungas by uh, having a volume and tone control that is also present. In the up position, uh, you're splitting that humbucker into a single coil. That's the controls, yeah. Yeah, that's the controls. Uh, it's an Okume body uh, with a gloss polyutherin finish. Polyutherane, I guess, whatever you call it. Maple neck, uh, C-shaped neck at 25.5 inch uh, scale length. Uh, 9.5 inch radius, narrow tall frets, synthetic bone nuts, uh, and a single action head adjustable 4mm hex truss rod. Oh, thank God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a cool guitar. So out of all of that guitars, I reckon, the Paranormal guitars, this has got the best neck, I think. It's pretty cool. This it's... one even has a little bit of bird's eye going on yeah, in the yeah. maple. Uh, it does have the cut, tummy cut, so it's comfier than a standard slab telly. Some clean tones. Let's do some clean tones. On the uh, let's go the standard humbucker through the controls in the middle. bit of twang for a humbucker so it's also a wide range but also it's bright yeah so it's it's not a dark humbucker no should we go so this is with go switch to bypassing the tone circuit yeah <laughs> Do 
Gilberto, se eu tiver que ouvir o Leonardo, falem assim. <risos> A bit of fuzz, you can annoy people like that. Yeah. It's really cool. Yeah. Um, so, if we go back to the standard full humbucker, and then we go to the single coil, to the, that comparison. Three really quite distinct sounds, aren't they? Yeah. Um, should we do some drive sounds? Sure. You want to have a spin on that? I'll do some. I'll do that. Um, so start off again in the middle position with a, just a normal humbug. The other just thing I want to just mention with feel. this being Squire as well, the, to the volume and tone pot feel great. They mm. don't feel cheap. They feel... No, no. They feel... Um, there's resistance there. Substantial. Substantial. They feel substantial. substantial. So which one should we go for? Let's go the Meteor. For just more of a like a boost, right? Go back to the other one. I liked it just to boost, just to hear the difference no. between the pickups again. The overdrive sound, yeah. that's a, but more boosted sound. That to me sounds almost like once that. I guess you're going through a tone stack. There's maybe some sort of a little bit of a tone roll off happening. Yeah. Um, this seems more open, bigger. It's a bigger sound. I don't know if you can hear that via YouTube. Sort of narrower sound. Yeah. And then that. It's actually a really usable sounding single cause. Kind of like the kind of guitar where you have, uh, I mean, maybe let's go some more. It's almost like kicking in the chorus, or oh, that doesn't work when that's all the way down. Or like a lead boost or something like that. But it's a really usable to me. Mm. I find it's a great sounding out of like um, split. Forget that doesn't work. Um, it's a really usable thing, I find. I, quite, I like I like having those two. Yeah. I at first I didn't quite. I don't know when I first got it out of the box. There's an unboxing video, by the way, that I did of all these. Um, I kind of went, ah, oh, the single pickup with that. Would I even ever use that? But yeah, <laughs> I definitely would.
Um, all right. Thoughts, Alex? Um, I think across the series, actually, they all have really quite solid build um, specs, quality. Um, one or two of them have ever so slightly sharp edges on the frets. But that's probably a yeah. little player thing that will settle down over a year or two. And um, Or you can just take them to your local guitar shop and get a good setup and yeah. all that kind of thing, fret polish, um, which probably happens to almost every new guitar coming out of the, regardless of brand and make a model. Yeah. Um, yeah, neck feels good. What do you think it's of the a, maple neck? Because you're not a maple neck fan. I'm not a maple neck fan, but that it's a, the neck, the, the shape of the neck is yeah. great. It mm. has, it, it feels really good. And I think maybe if the maple makes us a bit brighter and spankier, the pickup, I Possibly. think that works yeah. to me, having a single handbucker pickup. Um, I mean, it depends on the kind of style, what, what you want to play, but sure. um, maybe brightening everything up, it, it works with this mm. kind of scenario. Um, kind of, it wants to have a bit of drive stuck in front of it. It wants to have a bit of drive, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is also probably one of the, the few guitars, well, not the few, but the, uh, probably one of the only guitars out of this, six string guitars out of this whole yeah. set. But the strings it came with don't feel too loose to me. I don't know why. Okay. I'm guessing they're nines, just like all the others. Usually Fender Squire stuff always comes with nines. They don't feel super loose. Mm -hmm. They feel less loose than in other guitars. Uh, actually, just want to know, just a little question thing for all you people watching. What string gauges do you use? Let me know in the comments below. And who uses nines? Because I personally don't know anyone who uses nines. Mm. It's usually tens or above. There you go. So does anyone use nines? Nine Because um, I... I mean, these are not, they're a bit light for me, but they don't feel like nines to me. Anyway, uh, the only other thing, uh, setup wise, it needed a little bit of a setup. So it actually came out of the box. It was set up really, really well and played really, really well. But the saddles were all as far down pretty much as they go. And the little grub screws, whatever they are, those little screws were kind of sticking out. So I actually ended up, and it, it literally took me five minutes to do I loosened the strings up took the neck off put a little shim in the neck and then screwed all them up, made them all higher taller uh, to the same setup or maybe a little bit lower action to what it was before yeah. but without that sticking out so much but it took it didn't take long it was a really simple thing quick and simple thing to do uh, actually with these um, being a vintage style the split headstock ones it's quite easy to just take even the strings off and put them back on again True. Um, so I did that. It didn't take me long at all. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe five minutes, maybe ten minutes it took me to do it. But then it's great. It's set up really, really well. It plays well. I think these are great platform guitars. Sure. Buy it if you like to tinker, if you like to mod stuff. Um, the string through as well. I don't know if I mentioned that before. So it's a, it's a string through. Also, if you want to try something new, like if you never had a P90 guitar, there's an option in that range. If you've never had a 12-string guitar, there's an option in range. this range. You've had wide range humbuckers. Yeah, or single want. single humbucker guitar. Sure. Yep. You know, just to see what it's like. Or maple neck if you if you want to try the maple neck. Yeah, I yeah. think it's a it's a it's a good guitar. I, I enjoyed it quite a lot. Have, don't have a brown guitar. If you if brown. you want something more brown, if you if you want, always wanted a sparkly metallic black one that looks the same, just black. But um, yeah, get that. Uh, yeah, all up. I like. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below. Do you have one yet? Uh, it's a new series, but uh, yeah. do you have one yet? Or do you like it, not like it? That's okay too. Yeah. Um, they're obviously big personalities, so it's probably okay not to like it. it just means someone else will love it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, thanks again for to us, Fend Australia and Squire Australia for hooking us up with the whole series. Yes, thank you so much. Uh, comment to the channel to see the rest of the demos. A bunch coming, including the bass guitar and the 12 string. Yeah. Anything else we should add? No, that's about it. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Guitar. Yeah, let's do some more. See you in the next one. See you soon. Bye. Gotcha.